Hey everyone, there was some great news that came out of Fortinet's quarterly earnings call that I wanted to share with you in this video today. Of course, Fortinet, one of the leading cybersecurity companies in an industry that I'm extremely bullish about over the next decade or two. Cybersecurity is one of those areas where I feel is going to grow for these next two decades at a reasonably robust rate of growth, whether or not the economy is growing robustly in a recession or whatever the case might be for macroeconomic growth. I feel cybersecurity is something that companies are less and less able to discretionary, discretionarily decrease or increase. It's becoming more of something that's a requirement. And so let's get into what I mean about these great news that's coming out. So the company mentioning its FortiGuard AI power security service has secure computing rating that is up to 16 times better than the average of their competitors. Similar price model by using over 90% less power than competing solutions. So they've got a, what looks like a significant competitive advantage here in that when you're comparing same price same price to the competitors, Fortinet service is consuming 90% less power and it's offering 16 times greater computing rating. So that's a significant advantage. And certainly when you're looking at it from a client perspective, that's going to lead to Fortinet winning more contracts, right? And it's already one of the leading market share providers in its core category. Going on, an independent analysis by Forrester of the cost savings and business benefit found that it includes more than 300% return on investment overseas and payback in six months with a 90% reduction in time spent on manual updates. Again, this shows the value when you're looking at it from the client perspective. If the client is getting a 300% return on investment, then they're more likely to purchase this service. Now, this return on investment calculation is something that they had to do, they like to do with third parties because it's difficult to quantify the savings you offer with cybersecurity, right? So let's say you sell your cybersecurity service to a company and over the next six months, they don't have any incidents. They don't have any big, big incidents that cause them to lose information or a hack or whatever the case might be. How do you quantify that? How do you go to that company and say, well, we saved you X amount of dollars by protecting your network, protecting your platform, protecting your information in the last six months, you had no breaches. What is, the, what is the value of that? How do you get the value of that? And so that's a difficult thing to quantify, which probably requires specialists to come in and you know maybe do a comparison and say, well, a business of your size, the average loss over the last six months was X amount. And so by you, your business losing zero compared to the average amount lost in the last six months of your industry peers, that means you saved this much money by choosing this cybersecurity service where your industry chose not to use this service. That's one way they can quantify this metric and it really helps in making sales because then they could take that quantification to management teams and give, the, give it to the management team and say, look, you're, this is what you're making this is the return on investment you're getting by choosing this service. And then that protects the management team from the board of directors because when the board of directors go asking and saying, why did you make this purchase? Why did you make this investment? They could then take that research to the board of directors and show and say, look, this is the return on investment we're getting with this. That's why we're choosing to spend. So it's definitely great news for Fortinet stock investors that this research showed a more than 300% return on investment and a payback period six months and 90% reduction in time spent because that's gonna lead to Fortinet winning more contracts, making more sales, making it easier for them to 
make more sales, reducing the time it takes to make a sale, all of those things are going to benefit Fortinet in the short, medium, and long term. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now.